there's a Portuguese saying that em abril aguashmil, meaning in April a thousand waters. It is usually considered the wettest month of the year here, but this year it has been very dry and hot. This week we had our first big downpour and the land and trees sighed some relief with us. We are still very in need of a lot more rain before the hot dry summer arrives. Our top well is lower than we would like at this time of year, but our homestead is looking beautiful and filled with spring flowers. The last month the grass has grown from brushing against our shins to some blades now towering above our heads. As much as we'd love to leave the flowers and grasses, they will soon become brown and dry and pose a fire risk, which means every spring there is the constant background noise of farmers clearing their land to protect it from summer fires. Yuan has been getting up early to trim the fields before the unseasonably hot sun arrives at midday. We've also had Yuan's lovely mum Shan staying with us, and in between copious cups of tea and coffee that drift into glasses of wine, we also had her help us with our projects. Pruning olive trees, clearing the overgrown driveway ready for wall building, and helping to dig out the space for our shed, which we filled the raised beds with all the earth we've dug up. So, me and Sean <laughs> are going to be tidying up the driveway here. It needs some weeding and just stuff moving out the way. We started working here yesterday and Yuan is doing his magic touch to the olive trees that really don't look very happy down here. Are you taking this big branch here off you? So we have been working on digging out the shed base, getting there. It's been lots of soil removed, uh, but we've been putting it on the potatoes and also filling the raised bed. So I think we've got about halfway to go still. Probably, yeah.
The sponsor of today's video is Squarespace. Squarespace is a brilliant tool for entrepreneurs and creatives, helping you to build a website to support your business or passion projects. Whether you'd like to create an online shop or showcase your creative work, then Squarespace is an all-in-one platform that can empower you to easily create a beautiful website that makes you stand out and engage with your audience. They have lots of brilliant features, including their new editing interface, which makes it easy to edit your site pages and position everything from images to text exactly the way you want. It's simple to add elements like a newsletter sign up or an about page. They have brilliant 24 seven customer service to help you at any time that's convenient for you to be working on your site. But my favorite feature is their award winning templates, which are beautiful and help you to very quickly achieve a sleek and professional looking site, even if this is your first time creating one. If this sounds like something you've been looking for to level up your creative ideas, then head to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com forward slash Frankie off grid to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. All links will be in our description below. And thank you so much to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video and continuing to support our project. Thank you. 
So I've planted in here a courgette and this is to try and stop the cats from playing on top of it. They've already squashed. I put some leeks and tatsoi in here. If they survive, we shall see. And then we have cucumbers in each of these corners that's going to grow up this old frame that was from a greenhouse that all ripped. And then I've planted a carrot spiral and then I find covering the carrots because they take a long time to germinate helps keep moisture in and cats off them. <laughs> Here I've got another courgette, two cucumbers, some sunflowers and some nasturtiums. That one's been gotten by something I think. Just hopefully this is all going to grow nice and quickly. And this one we've half filled now. And this one's very happy and abundantly growing. Lots of beautiful courgette flowers in. This is the first day we've had five eggs, which means they all laid today, which is exciting. It is really hot today, it almost feels summer-like. I think it's about 37 in the sun, 30 in the shade. Way too hot to actually be working out in the sun in most, most of the day. So I'm actually just sitting down to Draw, and I've been doing this really cool class online called Tangles and Dangles with a company called Sketchbook School. One of my friends introduced me to them. She does the class Tangles and Dangles on there, which I absolutely love. And it's just a really great way to pass the hot days. And they reached out to me and asked if I wanted to be an affiliate and share with you guys about the courses. So I said of course yes because I really love them and a few of you sometimes ask about uh, my drawing and what pens I use and things like that and I just think like having the ability to pass the time doing something like drawing or painting is just wonderful and I'm actually gonna they have a really cool looking watercolour class so my plan is to spend the hot days of summer learning that but I'm going to sit down whilst it's hot now actually and do one of these tangles and dangles classes. I'll show you a flick through my sketchbook of some of the previous classes I've done. I'll put a link in the description with all the information. I absolutely love it so if you are interested in drawing or painting I thought I would share and yeah I'll show you what I've been drawing. So it's called um, Zentangle I think and it's just like a very meditative, very calming way to draw. I really enjoy it. This is a really cool sketchbook because so it like folds out so you can see it all. Spending an hour doing this soothes my brain a lot. And because it's black and white, pen drawings is obviously my favourite way to draw. These are my favourite pens, Unipin fine liners. It's just so calming. <laughs> this is a really great way to, to spend an hour in the heat.
Hey, you hot cutsies. So I'm just down <laughs> looking at the shed building instructions. We have been a little hesitant to tackle this project. It was really funny trying to find a shed here for a decent price. So I did find this one on Amazon Germany and the reviews are very mixed. Some say it's absolutely brilliant and it looks nice from the photos but there are some absolutely hilarious reviews about the assembly. One was like don't do this with your wife otherwise you'll end up getting divorced. Uh, not for normal people to construct only for craftsmen so um, yeah it does have a lot of screws and some of the edges are a bit sharp and the instructions are your classic not very helpful but I absolutely love putting IKEA furniture together it just I don't know it's like building Lego or something so uh, I'm just gonna try and get my head around the first bit and see how I get on now that it's nice and cold in the evening Yuan's making some dinner we just want to get the base constructed so that we can be certain that we've dug out enough well we already know we haven't dug out enough we need to do more digging but yes wish me luck um see how far i get with uh, attaching w1 to w2 and then to w3 <laughs> absolutely nailed by mosquitoes and these instructions are quite terrible um, but you just have to really pay attention to where things are as with most of these kind of things and be very patient about the fact that you're probably gonna redo and undo <laughs> things um, so yeah never do them when you're in a rush it also doesn't say like it has this picture of these washers and doesn't say to use them so I'm only assuming that they're going in between the metal. Makes sense to me. But dinner is nearly ready and my camera battery is dying so this may be it for the night but I got the first page done <laughs> and I'm feeling fairly confident. So, fingers crossed we can get this done.